Hey guys, and welcome back to Elden Ring. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get a quest log in the form of a mod so that you can track your progress of your quests in Elden Ring because it can get really confusing to remember where you are. For example, let's say you're doing Ronnie's quest line to get the Age of Stars ending in Elden Ring. This mod will allow you to, whenever you interact with a Sight of Grace, find a section right at the bottom over here called ongoing quests and this will track every npc that is essentially part of a quest and it will track it here so if we go inside here you'll see bam there's going to be a ton you might have more quests active than you even realize so for example we can go to ronnie's quest over here which is the one that i know really well if i go in here you'll see it divides it up from you know, the top is the very first interaction towards the where you are currently before the cancel. So the witch doll, for example, if I go into here, it says you spoke with Ronnie in Ronnie's Rise and accepted to be at her service. That is the start of this quest line. This is only tracked here once you've actually done that. So that doesn't give you hints of what to do next. But if you have forgotten what Ronnie said to you, you'll see that your very first interaction with her, you both accepted to be of her service. And the second time you speak to her, she tells you about reaching Nokron, the eternal city, to retrieve a treasure. So we know the goal is to go to Nokron, and that's for you to figure out as a player. So with this mod, you can easily track your progress of where you are with all of these quest lines in case you, you know, forget. Because like I said, there are a hundred different NPCs here talking to you all the time, telling you different things that you might not even be aware of. So installing this mod is quite simple and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. Now, first thing I should mention, every time you play a modded version of Elden Ring, I highly recommend playing in offline mode in case, you know, of any issues that a mod might occur when you're playing online and you accidentally get banned for, you know, using an altered game. So if you go to system and you go to the earth, you know, the planet icon here and you go to the launch setting, make sure that this is set to play offline. And then you can go ahead and close your game and add the mod like we are gonna do now. So linked in the description down below is a file called Mod Engine 2. This is something you're gonna need to mod the game in a very easy way that you can add the mods and remove them whenever you want without interfering too much with the Elden Ring files. It makes modding super simple. You can find the link to this in the description down below. When you get to this page, you're essentially looking for this button over here under assets over here. It says mod engine dash a bunch of numbers win64.zip. You click this file, it will go ahead and download. Once you've downloaded this, you're just gonna go right click it, extract the files here, and then you can delete the zip file. You no longer need it. You just need this folder with mod engine because inside here is where you're gonna be starting the game, the modded version of the game. And you'll also see there's a folder here called mod. And inside this folder is actually where you're gonna be storing your modded files to, you know, mod the game. Really simple. You don't have to navigate to where Elden Ring is installed at all. Secondly, we're going to go to the Elden Ring quest log, which is on the Nexus Mods website. You will have to make an account. It's free. Don't worry about that. Once you click this link and you open up the page for the Elden Ring quest log mod, you can go ahead and scroll down. You'll see there's a description of how the mod works and all other information that I recommend you read through just to get a better understanding of some of these things. Alternatively, if you want to skip straight to download, go to the files tab right over here. Click files. And you'll see there is the first one, ER Quest Log. This is the main file, as you see at the top here. And we're going to go ahead and click Manual Download. And then you're going to click Slow Download. And this will start downloading the thing. It's very quick. It's only five megabytes. In your Downloads folder, you'll see the zipped file is there. You're going to right click it. You're going to extract it in its location. You're going to delete the zip. You can also delete the README. Inside the Quest Log folder, you're going to go inside here. And you're going to find these two folders over here. You're just going to grab both of these. You're going to right click. You're going to cut. And then you're going to go back. You're going to go into the mod engine folder. And you're going to go into that mod folder. And you're going to paste the files here like this. And then you're going to go back. And you'll see here inside the mod engine folder, all you're going to do is go to the launch mod underscore Elden Ring. This is going to start the game with the modded version using the mods that are in this mod folder. Now you can use an existing save, you can start a new save, it doesn't matter, it will work for any of the ones that you have active, it uses the game to track, you know, which things you've already completed, so I recommend using it for a save that you already have, if you want to like track your quest progress for a save file that you might not remember where your progress was, and you want to remember what those characters said, or a brief summary of what to do in a way, or at least like what they mentioned. 
I hope you found this video helpful and thank you so much for watching.